All right. Uh, yeah, dude, your, your stage is really, really amazing. Like, you and a few others really just knock it out of the park, you know? Just like a tiny minor details. It's like a perfect C. And like these old trees over here with like the, the dark light in them and everything. That's pretty cool. Yeah, um, believe it or not, I've never played Contra in my entire life. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, I just kind of got to run to it. But I know this is supposed to be like a power-up right here. Like, they, like, change your bullets or something. But, you know, I, I've obviously I've seen, whoa, gameplay. That's pretty cool right there. Wow, that's, that's really nice. Yeah, that's awesome. This is this is back when Konami used to be good. I think they made Contra, didn't they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They made Castlevania, Ninja Turtles, Contra. They definitely made Contra, yeah. That's back when they used to be good. They weren't a crappy company. Hopefully we get a new Bomberman game soon. I doubt it because they're lazy. Or they could be working on it right now. Look, I, I just love Bomberman. I just want what's best for the franchise, you know. But, yeah. This, this stage is really awesome, dude. I'm, I'm actually, like, surprised, like, how good it is. I, I've never doubted you, but, yeah. Yeah, man, you keep it up. I like how you put like the little thin green right here, right above the platforms. That's a nice detail. Yeah, but this is supposed to be from that new Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl fighting game, whatever. Yeah. You know, I was thinking maybe I should do like a stage from there sometime. Maybe not. Oh, oh, did I just see the moon move? Uh, hold on. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah. Nobody still told me how to do that. Uh, yeah, I know. I joined the Discord. I don't. I still don't really like you know what I'm doing there. But yeah, I do open it and like you know look at what people are talking about. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's a really nice stage. Yeah, you, know, you were probably one of the first people to do a stage from that game. This game coming out soon. Like. Uh, they showed uh, Leonardo and Michelangelo. I hope they put, you know, the other two turtles on there. Because, you know, people always, like, joking that they're going to, like, main. <laughs> These, who is a guy? He's like the, the guy with the orange hair from Wild Thornberry. I don't know what his name is. But I'll just play as one of the Ninja Turtles, if I'm being honest. That's who I would pick. But, yeah, I'm... Hopefully that's a lot of fun. I look forward to that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool stage. Probably, like I said, one of the first people to do this on here. Yeah, really cool. I really like it. I'm guessing this is like an original stage. Obviously. 
Based on like something from Minecraft, I think you said. That's pretty cool. Can you hit it through it though? That's the real question. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever, I've ever made a stage that's had those, those uh, levers. I guess these are like the, like the diamond and the gold that you can like use a pickaxe for. I, I used to be obsessed with Minecraft. Well, not obsessed with it, but I used to like play it a lot when I was uh. Freshman year of high school, I think. When, whenever the 360 version came out. Uh, well, that's when I played it. I don't know when the 360 version came out. Long story short, really nice stage. I don't know what, what this is right here all about. Maybe it's like a wall you can go in or something. Though. Not actually go in, but yeah. These like windows, I think. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I really like it though, yeah. Keep it up. bit of lag there <laughs> yeah not that it's bad obviously there's like a lot of stuff but um this is like another stage that surprised me um it's supposed to be from like a dunk on country on the super nintendo the first one like i mentioned like like a while back i um i was i played it a couple months ago but yeah Looks looks very identical to it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and also, you know, like shout out to Daily Custom Stage on Twitter for always like you know tweeting stages and stuff. That's where I find all this the stuff at, or it's like in the recommended tab on here. Like I said, I've never like I, I've made a Discord account like way back, but I never used it because I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, I'll, I'll try to figure it out more. Yeah, awesome stage though. It does look like very accurate, like super accurate to it. I was actually like, wow. Did it like a good job with like the colors right here. Like the, the light blue with the dark blue. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, you keep it up, man. Alright, yeah, but this is from Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I really like the detail on that little laboratory right there. You, you probably ran out of room, but I would have somehow found a way to put, like, the Scarecrow over here. Yeah. Even put like the little like like a miniature chimney. I can't scroll over to it, but it's like to the left of this purple roof. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah. I 
remember the first time I played Ocarina of Time, I got here, and uh, I, the first time I played it, I played on the uh, Wii Virtual Console, and I, I, uh, I was trying to get Epona, I was trying to like, learn Epona's song or something, I don't remember, but I remember I was like here, and I was trying to like Google like the, the song, but apparently you have to like do something, and like I didn't know you can go back in time. To Young Link, I didn't know you could do that. Cause it, you have to like get Epona's, like you have to get her before you turn into Adult Link. But you can also like go back in time and then get it, and then go back here and then learn it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that when I first played it. I was like, oh, I'm screwed. But yeah, I, I never you come here and like. You can, like, shoot, like, the arrow at the moon, and you get, like, the fire arrows or something like that. I haven't played Ocarina of Time since, like, 2018, but, oh, I had so much fun playing it. I played it on the N64, but I was talking, like, the first time I ever played it. I played it on the Wii Virtual Console. I like the sense, the sense of uh, depth here with, like, the, the lookout little platform on top. Isn't there, like a, isn't there like a shark in there? Like in the game, there's like a shark, you know, like a tank or something. Behind something. Yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, I'm not sure if you ran out of room. But I would have put like, uh, isn't like Zora's Domain below this? I think so. You know, like the iron boots or something to get down there? But yeah, I, I would have put like a bridge over here, or a little bit of like grass in like the second layer, where this like water is right here. I would have put like a, a scarecrow. You don't have to. Awesome stage though, do I really do like it? You keep it up. Oh, where the where is he going? Oh, that, that, that's a nice detail, dude. Wow, oh my. You put, like, this thing right here, so it's like it's like the top of the water. That's awesome. That's a nice detail. I don't think I've seen anybody do that with a bikini bottom stage. That's awesome. This is gonna fall off the cliff. <laughs> oh wow! Is this from that one episode where he gets that candy bar stuck in the the, the chocolate machine or something? Is he coming back? I missed my only chance to get on the bus. Oh, he's not coming back, is he? I thought that was on a rail. Oh, okay. I see what you did here. You made this like the second layer hollow, so he could like go like. There's, it's just a it's just a line right here, so he like traveled inside of it. You're a genius. You know that. I hope you know that. That's pretty clever. Okay. Wow. Got me on that one. That's pretty nice. Oh wow. I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. Ow, wow. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I don't know if this is based off of like that episode, but it kind of looks like it. I need a bus to bikini bottom. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, that, that was cringy, I know. But I really do like the stage. That, that's a pretty clever review. Keep it up, man. That was awesome. Oh, wow. You're gonna need, like, a giant Pokeball to catch him. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I think somebody made, like, a, uh, a Charizard. 
stage. There's like a giant Charizard or something. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't have to, but I would like... I would try to put like some like lava... Oh, okay. Yep, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, put some like lava on the green cylinders, so uh, you would take damage. Yeah, there you go. Well, you don't take damage still, but you get like, knocked back. It's those bumpers. Oh wow, that's that's awesome, dude. Oh wow, <laughs> that was a fail. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but, like, you're not entirely, like, you know, you can still, like, move up here, which is good. Like, you're not entirely, like, situated on the ground. That's nice. I really do like it. I'm not I'm not sure why you put this right here though. Because it's like transparent. But yeah, that's an awesome stage dude. Nice nice like artwork on the, the drawing of him, Venusaur. Yeah, you keep it up. Okay, what do we got going here? Oh, gravity. Okay, right off the bat, I just want to say that that's pretty cool how you put these uh, little rocks, like stones, in these like uh, pillars and stuff. That's awesome. So I think it's supposed to be like the the Moon Kingdom. You said from Mario Odyssey. Yeah, pretty cool. Put the like the wind here, so like you're in outer space. That's pretty cool. I don't know what this this box right here is though, or what what that is supposed to be, but it's pretty cool. I really like how you put this uh. Little rocks in the pillars. I would have also put like the wind. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't because I'm pretty sure when you enter like that lava cave, there is no gravity. Yeah. Like when you have to like keep using the bullet bills to keep traveling around. Yeah. I think that's what like this is this bottom part supposed to be. I think that's what you're going for. I think this is supposed to be like a power moon right here. I'm not sure if you ran out of room, you, you might have, but I would have put like, like the, the spaceship that you land on, the Odyssey, I would have put it like somewhere around here. In the background, you wouldn't have to, but yeah. Maybe like try to draw like a tiny dog, you wouldn't have to, it's just like, it's great uh, if you just want to push even further. Which you wouldn't have to, but yeah. It's pretty cool, I really like it. Um, you keep it up, man. Alright. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be like the, like the special world from, or the star road from Mario World. I thought, I thought that it was brown though. It doesn't matter. And this mountain's moving too, so I think you took some creative liberties, which is fine. But it's pretty cool how you can like teleport to different paths. See, like when I played Mario World, I I like like I always hundred percent games that I love, and like every time I play this, I hundred percent it. Even though I can like travel to the Valley of Bowser already, 
I still just like beat every level. Every every Mario game, I hundred percent like I, I just have to. It's just in me to do it. Every time I play it, every Mario game. But yeah, I'll do it for any game. Like if the game's fun and it deserves it, yeah. But if it's like a game like um, oh no, what's a game I hate? I don't know. I don't know. I can't think off the top of my head, but like. Yeah, but if a game's like fun enough and it like, you know, I'll definitely try to 100% it. But, yeah, I, I love I love this stage. It's pretty cool. I probably would have like put like a like a brown background. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or like a like a tan background. You wouldn't have to. It's just like, you know, some like constructive uh it's not. A, it's not a criticism. It's just like, uh, like, oh yeah, you can do that. Yeah, um, I'm not. I'm not like hating on it. I really do like it. That's pretty cool. I would have probably put some like red dots on the map right here, like over these. Yeah, but I do like it a lot. Pretty cool. Oh, and you got some platforms right here that move. Okay, I thought they were just stuck there. Yeah. All right, that's pretty cool. Are they stuck up here now? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty nice stage, dude. Uh, yeah, you keep it up. Alright. Um, it's from Mario Party 9, I think. It was said... So it's like a, like a Donkey Kong map. Or board. Yeah, I like how you make like, the the purple water fall into um, the background, like right here. Like you put like the little white anime. It's not anime. It's like cartoony, you know, white little thing from the water. Great, great stage. I just don't. I don't care about Mario Party Nine. <laughs> Great stage, I really do like it. Nice detail. And like, I, I bought a Mario Party uh, 6 on eBay recently, not because I uh, didn't never had it. I've had it when I was a kid. I used to play it all the time. I just, I lost it when I was moving. And yeah, I don't know what happened to it. And I haven't played it literally since I was like, like six or seven years old. 2004, I think I was like six or seven, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I think I don't know. I'm bad at math. I don't. I don't know. But yeah. I, I love that Mario Party. Like I said, four four is still my favorite. And that like that Bowser Mecha Head mini game. I think it's from Mario Party Two, but they they like remade it on Mario Party Four. And I love that mini game. I think it was on Mario Party Two. Yeah. There's so many mini games. I don't know. I always play Mario Party by myself, anyways. <laughs> but yeah, the the computers always cheat. Like they they'll always come back at the last second. It's crazy. I, I was just playing Mario Party Six uh, recently. That copy I got, and uh, like Luigi got like the the gold mushroom. He's like rolling like a triple nine. He almost rolled it twice. He almost got three nines. Twice, like what is this guy doing? But yeah, they, they, he he almost cheated, but I still won. But yeah, this is a cool stage. Um, yeah, I really do like it. It's awesome. I like the, like the little water detail in the background right here. It's awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, you keep it up, dude. It's awesome. All right. This is pretty cool. More than cool. This is awesome. No, no, but seriously, though, this is really awesome. Um, it's supposed to be like the wild area from Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. Yeah, you know, Gyarados, Score Bunny, the Toxicity, I think that's what it's called. Um, Sobble, Grookey, Butterfree, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what his name is. I don't know what this bird's name is. I totally forget. I caught one. It was on my team the whole game. I already say Gyarados. Uh, that's like the far fetched Galar evolution. I don't remember his name. I caught him though. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in the wild area. That was so much fun, dude. I don't think you could catch starter Pokemon, but I think you just added that because it was like a detail. Maybe you could, I don't know. In this game, particularly. Yeah. I, I loved Pokemon Sword and Shield. I bought Shield. Everybody's buying Sword because it's overrated. It's this, they're both the same game, just about. Just different Pokemon. Like, some different Pokemon, but yeah. I picked Shield. I really liked it. I I caught, like... I don't know how much I caught. Maybe, like, 300 Pokemon? I don't know. Like, I was going to try to catch them all. I was trying to evolve that Apple... The Apple one, you had to like do something. I stopped there. I got burnt out. This is like I was playing it so so much hours each day, and yeah, I got burnt out. But it's such a such a fun game. I really do like it. Was it a little on the easier side? Like just like your path is like very just like um, linear. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah. And people, they, they was like, oh, the old Pokemon games weren't that hard either. Yeah, they yeah they were. Like, some parts were. Like, Pokemon and Ruby and Sapphire, when you battle May, and after you, like, leave Malville City, that, that fight near that, like, bike trail, that, it's, like, one of the hardest fights in Pokemon. Like, especially if you, like, have a Grovile, or, like, you pick Trico, yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah. Now, obviously, like, you know, not it's not the whole game, but believe me, the old games have their hard moments. I think this game... <clears throat> excuse me. This game, I think, like, the only part I, like, thought was genuinely, like, super... Not super, but, like, kind of tricky was... I don't remember. It's a great game. I really do like it, but yeah. I've loved it. It was so much fun. I went to a minute release. I got like the little wall flag and everything. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I've never played the DLC yet. I just haven't went back to it ever since like November 2019. Yeah. That was a lot of fun though. I really loved it. Yeah, but awesome stage, dude. Sorry I go on a rant and start talking. Awesome stage. I really do like the detail. Oh, okay, yeah. Now, now this is what I've been talking about for two weeks now. I said I was going to cover it. Here we are. I don't know what this is based off of. I don't. I don't know if this is from, like... from like the uh like a shrek game on the gamecube but it, it's supposed to be like, like a gamecube but like you're inside of it or something i don't know i don't know if this is from like the the shrek video game on the gamecube but yeah pretty cool i don't think i've ever seen something like this on here but yeah it's like a nice shrek that you made right here what are you doing on my swamp But yeah. yeah, it looks like something that would be from like uh, 
one of those games. He looks kind of like, you know, kind of scary. Like, why is it, why is he just standing here menacingly? You should have added like that, like that black shadow over their face, like they that they have an anime. But, yeah. You're in my swamp, don't care. Oh, that's nice. You put like the little, uh, like the transparent thing you can go through. You put it right here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool stage. Um, yeah, dude. I said I was going to cover it, and here it is, yeah. You know, like all the circuits and wires and everything. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I really do like it. And so, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to... With my mouth, I, I hate people do that. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Awesome stage. Uh, Taco Bell's uh, French fries are, are pretty good. I don't. I didn't even know they had French fries. Like no joke. I don't get out enough. I guess I don't know. I'm like a little uh, hermit. Is that what you call people who don't leave their house? Yeah. Yeah, you get the point, man. I really do like it. Um, like, obviously, yeah, I go to work and the gym and all that stuff. That's not important. But, yeah. Yeah, definitely go try them. I, I don't know. I heard they're, like, scarce or limited. But, yeah. Really, really good. They taste like... I only have, like, a tiny, like... There's only, like, seven of them. I was like, what is this? So, I, I ate them. I was like, wow. I'm hungry. And, uh, yeah, I was like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not satisfied. I don't know. But yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, you get the point. I really do like it, and uh, yeah. Goodbye!